Hey, what's going on? This is your boy, True Business, and you're in tune with the Truth Seekers. I just got off the phone with one of my clients. My client is suffering from diabetes, type 2 diabetes. We used to call that adult onset diabetes, but unfortunately now we're getting it so young that we just call it onset diabetes. Uh, sadly, my client was told that um, there has to be an immediate weight loss and there has to be a major reduction in sugar. I explained to my my client that you know what your doctor is very smart very learned has a lot of experience but they do a terrible job terrible job of giving you the actual truth on how diabetes happens so here's what we're going to do a little bit of truth seeking as to what causes diabetes right now type 2 that is of course First off, let's get out the way what type 1 diabetes is. Type 1 diabetes we're born with. Type 1 diabetes is when the body does not have the ability to create enough insulin for the absorption of sugar from the bloodstream. So this is a dangerous thing, causes you to die, period, end of conversation. So luckily there is insulin-like um, products that allow us the absorption opportunity so that we can live a healthy, normal life. But type 2 diabetes is something that happens to people who were normal, who had no problem absorbing sugar with insulin, but now because of their lifestyle, because of the foods they eat, they weren't able to uh, do that healthily anymore. So here's what we need to understand first and foremost. Sugar is not the cause of diabetes. I'll say it again. Sugar is not the cause of diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is actually caused, are you ready, from saturated fat. Saturated fat that's only found in animal products and dairy products. Animal products and dairy products are the only places you're going to find saturated fat. But here's why it's saturated fat that causes this problem. The reason it's saturated fat that causes this problem is because this fat this saturated fat, it gets into our bloodstreams and then from our bloodstreams, it's absorbed. Listen to this, you guys. It's absorbed into our muscles. So what happens is that it's time for the body to uh, excrete insulin so that we can get that sugar absorbed and into the muscles where the sugar is supposed to be going. Well, there's so much gook that the muscles cannot bind the insulin to the insulin receptor. So here's what it is, you guys. Too much saturated fat. That is what's causing us not to be able to absorb the sugar through the insulin. And that is a danger and a real problem. And it can be fixed. It can be fixed immediately. All it takes is a dietary change. It doesn't take starving yourself. It doesn't take being hungry all the time. It takes getting rid of the saturated fat that's in your diet. Well, guess what? Here's something else he's not telling you. That if you're eating so much saturated fat that it's causing you to be diabetic, you're also, <laughs> you're a candidate for all kind of other problems like stroke and heart attack because that same saturated fat is clogging your arteries as well. So you guys, this is what I want you to know. Please understand this and understand it very well. Sugar is not the cause of diabetes. It is saturated fat. And if you want to rid yourself of diabetes, you have to get rid of the saturated fat. Milk, cheese, fish, poultry, all that stuff, terrible for you, terrible, any meat, Get them out of your diet and get them out of your bloodstream. Okay, it's really simple. It goes like this. If your body is full of saturated fat, it's in your muscles. If it's in your muscles, it's inhibiting your ability to use insulin to upload the sugar from the bloodstream. Get it out of your system and you will see a reduction in diabetes and you'll be off of that medicine and feeling and looking great. This is your boy, True Bennis, and this is another moment with the truth seekers. Peace.